morning my friends how's it going just waking up I'm gonna go pick up a load in Winnipeg today in Manitoba Canada that load is going over to Thunder Bay Ontario east of here about eight hours but it is snowing a little bit not too bad not too bad yet see the camera can't even really pick it up but there are flakes of snow falling from the sky which is concerning especially since the forecast says 88% chance of snowflakes falling from the sky today. Now this is fine. I don't mind if it snows. It just depends on how much. We'll see. Because traveling east in Ontario in snow can be a little bit risky. Those of you who drive through northern Ontario know exactly what I'm talking about. People up there are nuts. No, the people who live up there are great people. The people driving through there are nuts. A lot of the people. I mean, not everybody. I mean, I don't think we're nuts. Are you nuts? I'm. You get what I mean. But it's a two-lane highway, twisting and winding through the hills between the lakes and everything, and it can get pretty dangerous. And some people drive faster than they should, and don't pay attention, and then they cause problems. And then if there's an accident, usually that closes down the entire highway, and then everyone's stuck on the highway. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I just got over a cold. My voice is still a little bit croaky, so. Just so you know, that's what's going on there. I'm feeling great though, 110% today. Let's get to work. Let's chase some of those dollar bills or those loonies. Barricades. So they say on here there's 777 pounds. I'm assuming that's the bundle of two. So about 1,500 pounds across here. 1,500 pounds across there, we're at 3,000 pounds. Probably about another 1,500 there, so 4,500 pounds. And then we got these steel guardrails at the back. So this load should be under 10,000 pounds, I'm pretty sure, which is great for fuel usage. But, uh, it's snowing, so you, in the wintertime, you want some weight on your tires for traction, right? But we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We have uh, 730 kilometers or so, a little under 500 miles to our destination. We'll get there tonight. We're delivering it to the Flying J. Uh, east of Thunder Bay, Ontario, uh, in Shania, Ontario, so, which is perfect. Then we have a place to park right away. We'll park right at the Flying J. We deliver right at the Flying J in the morning. And we take this empty trailer back to Kenora, probably about four hours back east, west, sorry. Grab our load of lumber, tarp it, and we'll head down to Minnesota. We'll see what they come up with uh, for the weekend for me. So today when I'm filming this, this is a uh, Wednesday. That has to be delivered Thursday morning, tomorrow morning. And my reload has to be reloaded tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon. Deliver it in Minnesota, in Brainerd, Minnesota, in uh, Friday morning, on Friday morning. And then uh, I asked to keep busy over the weekend. We'll see if they can find something for me. Might just be something leaving on Sunday, but we'll see. They always come up with something. The snow is starting to fall a little heavier. <sighs> I'm all ready to go now. Let's rock and roll. All right, I'm gonna roll over to Deacon's Corner, the Petro Pass truck stop just east of Winnipeg. Organize my paperwork, everything there, check my straps on the load, grab a coffee. And I also gotta grab some water. I forgot my water at home. 
I took it out of the truck because the truck went to get serviced and it gets parked outside there. I didn't want my water to freeze and like burst or something, right? So I took it in into our house and I left it in the house. Now I gotta go get a case of water. Hopefully this snow doesn't get any worse throughout our day. We'll be driving into the dark. I'd really prefer not to have snow added onto that. But it is what it is. We'll do what we can, right? A little bit of snow never stopped anyone. Not up here, anyway. 100 meters, turn left on Marion Street, RT 115 and then turn right into 110 meters. Co-op gas bar off here on our right, isn't it? Huh. Nice. I think it used to be just a domo. A domo's still there across the street. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get onto this road now. I gotta go left. Marion's a busy street. Oh, and there's a tow truck that wants to turn down this road too. Oh, wait, no, he's going into co-op. Never mind. He's just off the screen to the right there. Uh, okay, so we got a pickup truck, then we got a white car coming from our left. After this Jeep on our right, we're clear. One more car from our left. There we go. That wasn't actually that bad. We didn't have to wait that long. I thought it'd be worse than that. Off we go. To get our coffee. I'm gonna go down Lajamodi South to Furmore. I could do that, or I could go down. 100 to meters. Here. Turn right on. You know what? Boulevard Lajamodi Highway 59. You know what? Yeah, we are. Oh wait, I gotta turn left from the right lane here. Okay, Josh, figure it out. <coughs> so we're gonna turn left. Then we're going to go down Dugald, past the perimeter highway, to what's that road called there again? Just past there, and that takes us right to Deacon's Corner. Less traffic. no one expected our new NDP government here in Manitoba cut the fuel tax on gasoline and diesel fuel province-wide 14 cents a liter off not what I was expecting from this new government at all that's something I'd expect from a conservative government why wasn't the conservative government doing this 
conservative government got, got voted out and then we got the NDP and the NDP are usually about big social programs, expansion of government, big taxes. Why are they cutting taxes? I feel strange about this. Thank you, Mr. Premier, Mr. Wobb, can you? For giving us a little bit of a break at the pump, a break that the previous government should have already been giving us. I was not expecting this from you. Very conservative move. Tax cuts. <laughs> Fishy. Are you on the wrong team? I didn't vote for him, but uh, you know, I can't, I can't say I'm not happy with this. I voted for the other guy because I thought the other guy would do this. Now this guy did this. I'm so confused. Seriously, the world is upside down. Backwards is now forwards. Left is now right. Right is now left. Up is now down. It's looking like it's going to be one of those really fun days, you know? Those kind of days you just dream about all year long. Snowstorm, slushy roads, gallons of washer fluid. Oh man, it's a trucker's dream out here. Don't you wish you were me right now? Look at this. Can I go back to Texas now? into Ontario uh, between Dryden and uh, Ignis I think I've got a question for you guys how many of you stop to clear off the snow on your tail lights on a regular basis when it's snowing out and the snow is sticky I was just following a guy a tanker hauling uh, gasoline I believe it was a diesel fuel it was fuel and it was flammable it had the placards on it uh, pulled up behind him his lights in the back completely covered with snow. Couldn't see a thing. If he hit, hit his brakes, turned his signal on, would not be able to tell. Truck and trailer. I could tell that his lights were working, 
because on the truck you can see them just barely poking through but when you're behind them you can't see the truck tail lights right they're underneath the trailer the lights were working and I could see that his marker lights were kind of poking through on the top of the trailer but that doesn't help when you're braking or turning so I tried to get him on the radio just let him know his uh, lights were covered of course he's not on his radio doesn't have a radio on because nobody in Canada uses their radio I mean I'm guilty of that too uh, I didn't use it for years but uh, I've, I've come to the position where I, I see the value of it if there's something wrong with your load your taillights are covered in snow it's nice when people behind you can let you know and get a hold of you saying hey maybe you should pull over and clear those off no one can tell what you're doing if you hit the brakes no one's gonna know until they slam into you Right? And you're hauling hazardous material, like flammable stuff. You really want someone slamming into the back of your trailer filled with gasoline? Uh, I don't know, how many of you, uh, how many of you deal with that? Do you, do you guys wipe your tail lights? Do you guys remember to do that? Sort of a habit of mine. I always stop about every, uh, oh, when it's snowing like this, <laughs> almost every hour or two. I'll just quickly go pull over somewhere, quickly wipe them off, wipe off my headlights, everything. Make sure my lights are visible and then continue on down the road. Maybe that's overkill. I don't know. What do you think? Well, tonight's going to be a short night. Or it's going to be a quick night. It's going to feel like a quick night. As soon as I can get rolling tomorrow, i got to get out there, get all of that stuff off the trailer and book it back to Kenora. I'm gonna have just enough time. Just enough time to get there. On another note, I have like this weird swollen part of my lip here. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah. Sorry to gross you out, but whatever. Like, did I bite it or something? I don't know what's going on. I've been struggling with this all day. I'm hoping it'll be gone in the morning. I feel like I bit it in my sleep or something last night because it wasn't there yesterday. Sorry, side note. Like I said, we got a book it to Kenora. We'll get there probably around three o'clock. We have to get there before 3.30. Around three o'clock, we'll get loaded. And then we're gonna book it down to Brainerd and hopefully get all the way down to Brainerd so that I can get unloaded in the morning on Friday. And then we'll see what they have for me. Uh, right now, the plan I think is just to come home empty from there. But I told him I'm open to all options. Like whatever you have for me. If you have somewhere down in like Iowa or something that picks up on Monday, send me down there. I'll be ready to pick it up on Monday if it's a good paying load. If you got something, you know, back home that needs to go out over the weekend, I'm ready to roll. I'll come back to the yard, switch trailers, go grab a different load, whatever, keep going. I just want to keep working. Bugs me when I want to work and there's no work. But they usually find something. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got a lingering cough that I'm dealing with. And this weird thing in my lip. Bugging me. And the air outside has been very dry today, so. Oh well. It's been a good day though. We made it all the way here. We got to our destination. We'll get unloaded first thing in the morning. And we'll take it from there. So thanks for hanging out with me on this short little day. Uh, tomorrow we'll be racing. So if you want to join us for the race, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. All right, I'll see you then. Be safe out there. Drive safe and pay attention.